Toastmaster uh, Abhishek, uh, do you have any guest on online mode? Because we have one guest in offline mode. Okay, uh, guest Kavita, would you like to introduce yourself? I don't see any online guest. Okay, Kavita, yes. Kavita, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, my name is Kavita. I am from Ocean Toastmaster Club. Uh, whenever I get time, uh, I will used to join uh, this club meeting. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much for introducing yourself. Uh, do you have any guests in the physical meeting? Uh, yes, we have guests in Nishisha. Uh, so Nishisha can come on the stage and introduce yourself. Okay, I don't think uh, we have any other guests in the physical meeting. Do we have any other guests? Uh, no, I'm seeing some more guests online. No, no. Okay, uh, so I will like to hand over to Toastmaster Swati to start as a Toastmaster of the day for today's meeting and set the agenda. Over to Toastmaster Swati. Thank you so very much, Abhishek. And hello, friends. How are you doing? You got the vibe? of today's theme, that is all about social media. And that is all about how you are presenting yourself in the social media. Now, let me give a tour of my garden over here. Ideally, it's not a garden, but still then, people do misuse the social media privileges and give a lot of substance, which is not in fact true. How many of you believe that Today's news channels are 100% sorted and 100% true. Can I have a raise of hands? How many of you think so? That today's news is 100% uh, perfect. What about the news channels you are following? Mayuresh, Abhishek, anybody can respond. Okay. So let me just tell you, in today's news, most often the news are fake news. And most often, they are seems to be somewhat biased news. Because you know, the news channels are being paid by the political parties. So in one news channel, you might find one is true. And in the other news channel, you might find the other one is true. So whom should we believe and whom should we not to believe? That is the greatest confusion. And the youngsters, they are more involved in likes, heart emojis, and their life is entirely based on emojis. How many of you are crazy about posting a post in the Facebook or Instagram? And if they don't see like for five minutes, how many of you get frustrated? Now I want to listen the truth, especially from girls, Snehal, Tulsi. Can you tell me? Like what happens if you're not getting a like or if you're not getting a comment on your social media post for more than two minutes?
no response yet so let me just go on i mean most often the people are getting deviated through the social media although the social media has many advantages like the ott movies which we are getting right at home and even whatever information we have our google chacha or our google uncle is always ready with all the information in hand and even for the employees the work from home has been very very beneficial where people are enjoying working from home now even the hybrid mode is there people have the privilege of working from home and having fun so so there are few advantages to in fact there are few disadvantages as well because you can't trust the news 100% am i right i'll walk you through the more three, uh, more tips today whether the social media is beneficial or not beneficial so let me just give you the meeting the overall review of the meeting so our meeting is divided into two parts the first part is a prepared speeches wherein each and every speech in the toastmasters is considered as a project and is considered as a new learning so our members would come up with their speech with the prepared speeches and would present it and believe me toastmasters is even about learning so once the speakers present their speech we do have the evaluators who come ahead and who give their evaluation and who give their valuable feedback in a very positive way so that the members can learn more and there is a secret part which i will reveal post this and where even the guests can take part but i think for now this is good enough and now i'll take you through the general evaluator that's a very own presiding officer toastmaster abhishek would be playing the general evaluator role and he is a it professional from robert bosch and he likes coding gaming and even playing chess and he's my mentor as well so over to you toastmaster abhishek our general evaluator of the day who will introduce this stack team today and let's rock today's meeting over to you toastmaster abhishek uh thank you so much toastmaster day toastmaster swati now as a general evaluator my role is to evaluate the meeting in general just like we have individual evaluator for each speaker similarly we have a general evaluator for the entire meeting who will observe the proceeding and at the end i will come to the stage and present my report so let us introduce our tag team for today's meeting our first uh, first role player is toastmaster sorov toastmaster sorov is fun lover and always young at art and he is the timer for today's meeting our uh, toastmaster sorov are you present can you explain the role Uh, Toastmaster so okay. 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 uh, okay. uh, if he doesn't uh, turn up then we will manage and i will explain the role for the timer as well okay our next role player is someone who is working at bank she loves art craft sketching yoga watching movies so many course she has so many hobbies as well and she is none other than toastmaster pulsi toastmaster pulsi i would request to come on the stage and present uh, yourself thank you thank you general evaluator tm abhishek good morning presiding officer toastmasters of the day fellow toastmasters and dear guests i am tulsi grammarian for today's meeting to me grammarian is a significant uh, role as a toastmasters is majorly about communication we communicate in whatever language but it needs to be correct many speakers have <clears throat> a very good speaking uh, delivery style of their speech but uh, some uses of wrong word or phrases it weakens the effectiveness of the speech then it comes to the role of the grammarian along this a grammarian also introduces word of the day and phrase of the day for every particular meetings so i am introducing the word of the day 
today's word of the day is quantify which is a verb and it means to determine or express the quantity the example is you cannot quantify confidence but attending the toastmasters meeting regularly can certainly boost it the second example is social media has quantified information sharing metrics beyond our imagination i would like the participants to try the word of the day anybody would like to try Yeah. Yeah, general evaluator, you would like to try? Uh, so, the thing about today's meeting, we cannot quantify the benefit of social media. Yeah, it's correct. I just want to see. May I tell you what is the topic of the day? Yes. So today, those masters meeting, we couldn't quantify our presence, but it was a blessing in disguise as we have ample of time and ample of food in the room in the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Sure. So that is what I want to say. Someone else would like to try the word of the day. now we will move to the phrase of the day which is blessing in disguise it means something that seems bad or unlucky at first but results in something good happening we can also say good outcome from an evil situation the examples are missing my bus turned out to be a blessing in disguise as it broke down midway and the another example is online class in time of pandemic have been blessing in disguise for the students so i would urge everyone to use this phrase of the day online offline mode anyone can try <laughs> May I, Toastmaster Tulsi? Yes, T M Swati. So you can try. Raining are sometimes disguised in blessings for students who get leaves during heavy rains. Yes. Yeah, correct. So this is the this is my grammarian report. I will present my report at the end of the meeting when called upon by the general evaluator. I request everyone to use the word of the day and phrase of the day throughout the meeting. Thank you. Back to you, General Evaluator. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster Tulsi, for explaining the role of uh, the grammarian and introducing the word of the day and phrase of the day. Our next role player is someone who is master in project management. He is a senior scrum master, and he loves trying out new things and also playing table tennis. Let us welcome Toastmaster Shrites. Thank you. Uh, good morning, President Abhishek and uh, uh, Toastmaster of the day, Swati, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. So, I am Shritesh Garewal. I, as Abhishek just told, I am a project management professional, and it is my first time taking a role here in the club. Uh, so, as a my role as our counter, I'll be counting the filler sounds, including uh, mm, and the unnecessary. Unnecessary pauses that we take. 
So in order to speak fluently, one must refrain oneself from using this filler sound unless it is required. So, so I'll be helping out with my report in the end. So, thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator Abhishek. Uh, Abhishek, you are speaking on me. Oh, oh, sorry. So thank you so much for explaining the role of the R counter for today's meeting. And as our timer is going to be a bit delayed for today's meeting, let me explain the role for time. So timing is the essential part of public speaking. So in uh, track of time, we have some uh, information to show. First of all, there is a minimum and maximum time allowed for the speaker to speak. When the re speaker reaches the minimum time allowed, the screen turned from white to green. When the speaker reaches the midpoint of minimum time and maximum time allowed, the screen changes from green to yellow. And finally, when the speaker reaches the end of the timing that is allowed, the red card is slow soon. However, a grace of 30 seconds will be given to the end the speech. And finally, the buzzer will be shown at the end. And this is all for the uh, timers report. Okay, so I think we can move ahead. Uh, I would like to hand over to our uh, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Swati. Thank you so very much, Toastmaster Abhishek. Now, We'll go ahead with our very exciting, very first session of a Toastmasters meeting today. And what's our very first session? That is prepared speeches. So we have a few revolutionaries who had taken the guts to come upon this stage and to give the speeches. So we have three warriors today as the speakers who will come onto the stage, face the fear, and give a wonderful speech ahead. So let me just introduce or uh, begin this session with our very first speaker who is the manager by role and who loves playing guitar and who and who likes attending Toastmasters meeting and exploring new friends and who is our new VPPR as well. That is Toastmaster Ashutosh. Now, before we go ahead with the speech, I would like the evaluator of the speech, Toastmaster Snehal, to introduce us to the objective of the speech. Over to you, Toastmaster Snehal. Can we have Toastmaster Snehal spotlight the Toastmaster Snehal so that she can read the objectives of the speech? Yeah, we can see Toastmaster Snehal. Over to you, Toastmaster Snehal. Sneha, we are unable to hear you. <coughs> sure, Sneha, we'll give you a minute. And in the meantime, I would like to know how many of you have posted the reels and the memes in the internet to make it very interesting. Rainy reels, rainy season reels, monsoon reels. Shantanu, have you done this? Posting any rainy season reel or posting any guitar pick uh, with your with singing a song? Or dedicating a song to the rainy season in Insta? Uh, no, 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 not done so far. <laughs> not <laughs> but, but you have given me good idea. So I definitely try one. Yeah, that's all time depends upon whether you're there or whether you're existing or not existing. This season memes have become very, very popular and the series have become at most popular. So let us get back. Uh, Toastmaster Sneha, you want to give a try? 
with the audio check. Uh, can someone confirm me if they're able to hear and if it's only the issue at my end? No, I, I, I see uh, Snehal on mute. Uh, maybe you can okay. try to come off mute, uh, Snehal. Sure. Oh, uh, Snehal, just so take just a, just on website, there's an audio section. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you, Snehal. Please go ahead. Uh, yes. So there was uh, one confusion. Uh, first of all, actually, before uh, I was asked to evaluate second speech. So do I need to evaluate the first one? Or... Oh, yes, Snehal. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Snehal. Okay, so uh, the purpose of this project is for the member to understand the types of uh, persuasive speeches and deliver a uh, speech at a club meeting. So, um, one second. <clears throat> so, uh, Ashutosh will be the first speaker. So, over to you, Ashutosh. We, we can start with the speech. Thank you, Snehal. Thank you so very much, uh, Toastmaster Snehal. Ashutosh, we'll quickly have an audio and video check. You are visible. You are quite visible. Can we have an audio check okay. and just say so, one, two, three? One, two, three. Can you hear me? Perfect. Over to you, Toastmaster Ashutosh, and all the very best for your Thank you. So, friends who are sitting over here and in the online mode also, I wanted to know from all of you how many times you have said sorry in your daily lives. Have you ever said sorry? Every time. Anyway, how many times do I have to say sorry? Okay, uh, ma'am, you have said sorry. Okay, so with the uh, sorb also, and uh, I cannot see, but perhaps in the online mode also, most of us sitting over here has said the word sorry. Similarly, how many times you have forgive the people? Less. A lot, a less. Medium. Medium. Sometimes you have forgiven, sometimes you take it personally and not forgive the person. Right. Friends, today I wanted to discuss the importance of forgiveness. How much forgiveness is important in our life? The way Mayur, uh, Mayur said, that he is married. So how many times he had said sorry. So if any person who has done something wrong and he said sorry, it means he's an honest man. Agree? Right. Sometime when the person is right, even after he's saying sorry, what does it mean? He is married man. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> so jokes apart sorry is a five letter word but why we are not able to say sorry all the time in our lives because there is three letter word what is hindering us to take a step forward and say sorry and that that word is ego our ego come in in our lives and that always restrict us that we are not taking a step forward and say sorry and when we are saying sorry it simply means that sometimes we value our relationship more than being right. Okay. Forgiveness, a 11 letter word is always backed by a four letter word that is called love. If there is a love, if there is a feeling of compassion, if there is a feeling of mercy in our heart, definitely we are going to let our ego go and take a step forward and say sorry in our daily lives. And even people are not able to understand, rather it is me, you or every individual, that why we are not taking that courage and say and, and forgive somebody. 
because it's not always being right or wrong it is the thing what is more important that how much the person's value is in there in our life than being right or wrong if if i can recollect some of the examples uh, if any one of you over here in the online and, and the offline mode can you share some uh, some examples when there was an incident when you were regretting even till today that you should have sorry you, you should have said sorry but you have not any example ma'am okay mayuresh if you can recollect some of the any of the cases when you are regretting even till till today that you should have said sorry to somebody but you have not and because of what you are having regret even till today there can be instances yeah. right in most of our lives definitely we sometimes because of our ego our own perceived notion we are not taking a step forward and say sorry to somebody and at the same time we are not forgiving to somebody else also just because of our ego that is trapping us behind we all are human being we are not a god sent man like everything whatever we are going to do is always going to be correct always perfect no we are a packaged deal when there is something good in our personality there is something bad in our personality so we need to understand that if there is something good in our life we have to celebrate if some someone is doing good to us we have to focus on those goods and if there are some bads in in one's personality we have to deal with it when we are focusing on good and dealing with the bad definitely there will be a times then we are going to celebrate we are going to enjoy the good part of one's personality and we we'll ignore and bar whatever the bad he has done because but if any person is acting uh, what is sometime he is misbehaving to us some abusive language he is going to use for us it simply means that he is with some kind of particular mindset that does not mean that the person is bad because of something is there in his mind he has done some that kind of act and that felt bad back to us we have to deal with the situation and why he has said, said that to us as a person he may not be that bad so rather than targeting the people we should target the mindset or the behavior what trigger him to do so and by going this way definitely we can save a lot of relationships in our life because when we value more to our relationships then person and then ego definitely will come off with flying colors and we are be able to save more relationships in our life thank you and back to you thank you so very much to master atwood for that wonderful uh, for that wonderful speech and let us have a one minute of silence so that people can share their valuable feedback to our very own first speaker to master atwood and first speaker the feedback is like the bread and butter so please do share it and time up please do let me know when it's a minutes time I don't see the timer card, <laughs> so just speak up uh, in case if it's a minute's time. the one minute is over thank you so very much so let us move on to our second speaker our second speaker is someone who is a qa lead and uh, he likes singing 
he likes uh, meeting new people and he likes coding as well and before we go ahead with our speaker let's introduce the evaluator of the speaker so the evaluator of speaker 2 toastmaster my uresh is toastmaster shantanu so toastmaster shantanu can you read us uh, out the objective of this speech uh, sure toastmaster swati uh, so the purpose of this project is for a member to learn or review basic research methods and present a well organized well research speech on any topic I wish Thank all the best so uh, to Toastmaster Mayuresh. Thank you so very much, Toastmaster Shantanu. And Toastmaster Mayuresh, can we quickly have an audio and the video chat before we proceed with your speech? Good morning, everyone. Am I audible and visible? You're not visible. I think the spotlight needs to be highlighted towards you. Excellent. Perfect. Now you're visible as well as you're audible. So, all the very best, Toastmaster Mavrish. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, Mavrish, testing is a secondary activity. We are just playing second to the developers. I was shocked. I read the homework back once. Whether such comments from my manager or having children to play as my manager. I decided to take this situation as a blessing in disguise. And I was determined to make my boss understand what my work is, what is the value of my work. Mr. President, Toastmaster of the day, dear guests and fellow Toastmasters, a very good morning to you. Today, I would like to introduce the fascinating world of software testing, just as I did to my boss. When I knocked on his door, came in the next day, he was not very happy to see me. Yeah, my name is Tami. So you want to talk about your work, yes? Hi, Sheldon. And yes, I would like you to introduce you my work. Yeah, fine. Give it shot. I have many other things to do. Okay, Sheldon, a quick question for you. What is common between lion in the video game, mass polar lander mission, and what to the problem? Apart from the fact that you close there to waste my time during morning, nothing. Haha, <laughs> boss. But you are wrong. They also had a project manager very similar like to you, who used to think testing is secondary, testing is not necessary, testing is waste of time, yada yada yada. Do you know what happened because of that? The Lion King did not work on most of the available computers at that time. The mass polar lander crashed on the mass, telling the mission. And because of Y2K, okay, lot of software had to be updated, modified, or replaced. Can you imagine how much of that cost to that company? How much was the cost to that company? I guess the company had to spend a lot of time and resources on replacing the software. So they back into the back into achieving their goal or free all together. Yes, but not but that is not the limit. You know, in case of uh, Patriot missile defense system, even the soldiers' lives were lost. Oh my god, is that the case? I didn't know about that. But how did it happen? Can you tell me, please? Sheldon, the reason was simple. There was a software bug. Ah, yes, that's what we call software issues, a bug. I'll come to that later. But because of this one bug, or a group of bugs, all these failures occurred. And it not only costed this much, but it not only costed the life of the soldiers, the money, the delays, but the bad rest for the company, it was also humongous. Yes, I can understand that. Now, can you please elaborate more? How was that just one bug or were there more, any more bugs? Well, there was just one or two bugs, but of different types. You mean to say there are more than one type of bug? Don't be surprised. Oh, then I can be. I knew that now I have a lot of children on the book. I'm going to explain him to everything now. So that was my plan. I started. So Sheldon, in case of Lion uh, King, the developer, developing, development team failed to do the system compatibility test. They had to eventually call the game back and supply them again when the compatibility check was done. In case of Mars Polar Lander, they were better. NASA was obviously better than this thing, you know. But 
they fail to test their polar lander as one unit and because of that it crashed on the mars in case of y2k the developers fail to quantify their uh, software life it ran more than it was intended they assume that their software will be over, software life will be over before the 20th century is over but that was not the case and when the 20th century was over the system simply assumed that uh, after 1999 the year 1900 is going to start and that that issue was responsible for the y2k problem you might remember and you will be surprised even more when you would know that in case of patented design defect system no issue was there the system was running very really smooth but only for a short duration of time and when the that this incident occurred the like like of soldiers so at that time the system was running really six seven times their duration so you can understand that how many different type of bugs can come oh that is really serious my right but how are you going to tackle this situation do you have a plan my friends then and there i knew that now i have convinced my convinced my tough boss about uh, my work now all i had to do was to present my plan and uh, get that promotion which i have always wanted i started again so shall i definitely have a plan first of all i will place all the units at separate units of software separately then i will integrate them and test them as a one single software that will show the functional part for the non functional part i will test the performance with a longer duration and with many more users after that i will also test the security and vulnerability of software so i guess are going to help me for that you know ha ah, that's really good but you know my way because we are on tight budget for all this type of testing you will need a very too many resources with different expertise and we don't really have that budget let us please when i made this plan i made a counter plan for that you know if we can write a program to automate the human actions i can write another program to test if that program is working fine or not i'm talking about test automation i'm going to implement it and it is going to work fine so don't worry about that Very good, my friend. Very good. I'm definitely going to recommend you to implement this approach, and you are going to hate it. Congratulations, you are promoted. Thank you, Shailen. Is are there any other questions for me, or I'm satisfied? Yeah, everything is good, my friend. But just tell me, why is the software software issue part of work? Don't you have any other things? Oh, that is done. That is really simple. You know, when the first time our software was malfunction, it was because of an actual bug. You know, when MOS was stuck into the computer's processing unit, it cut the power supply of the computer, and the computer simply did not function. They stuck. Oh, testers have been really British. Essential for the software progress. So. That's it. I am satisfied. So, friends, that is my story. If you are developing any software, please contact me, and I can guide you on testing also. So, that's it from me. And over to you, Coach Master of the Day. Thank you so very much, Coach Master Mayuresh, for the great speech. And I would request uh, one minute of silence so that people can ping in or give their feedback to our Coach Master Mayuresh. time up please to let me know when it's a minutes time yeah sure
Uh, can you people hear me now? Yes, yes. Perfect. Thank you so very much. Now let us move ahead to our third speaker. That is Toastmaster Nilesh, who is an IT professional and who likes playing chess and watching movies and listening to music. And we'll have uh, the evaluator for our third speaker is Toastmaster Chandrasekhar. So I would request Toastmaster Chandrasekhar to read out the objective of this speech. Uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day. The speaker is going to deliver his level one project four, which is evaluation and feedback from the Pathways Visionary Communication. The purpose of this project is for the member to present any speech, receive feedback and apply it into the next speech and also to serve as an evaluator after the second speech is done. With that, I would like to give control back to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so very much, Toastmaster Chandrasekhar. So can we have spotlight on our speaker three? That is Toastmaster Nilesh. Yes, Toastmaster Nilesh is in spotlight. Thank you so very much. So Toastmaster Nilesh, can we quickly have an audio and the video check before we proceed? Yes, am I audible and visible? Yes, you are audible as well as visible. So over to you, the stage is all yours. All the very best. Thank you. Fake it till you make it. I hope most of us in this room must have heard this term before. But I would like to understand from you all, how many of us feels that this is the true statement and it will work? Just to prove this, I would like to start this speech with a small demo. And for the demo, I would request each one of you, from, especially from the online mode, if they can switch on their camera. It's just five to 10 second activity, just to see whether fake it till you make it works or not. Great. I can see some beautiful faces now. Thank you so much for that. Okay. So I just want you all to smile for five seconds. I know you don't feel like smiling looking at me, but just fake it. Just fake it. Smile. Yes. I can see all of you smiling. Thank you so much. Now, just answer me one thing. How did you feel about it? Even if it was fake smile, how did you feel about it? Can anyone just tell me how was the smile? What they feel from inside? Gravity. Okay. Though it was fake, but I felt happy. Okay, great. I felt like uh, my manager is asking me to give. Whenever we look at our manager, sometimes <laughs> when he's assigning the work, we give the fake smile. <laughs> Okay, great. Anyone else? It reminds us about something good. Something good. Great. Great. That's what proves that fake it till you make it works. Because even it was fake, we felt good from inside because our subconscious mind doesn't understand whether it is fake or real. Although our mind knows that it was fake, but subconscious mind does not know about it. That's when it works. Presiding officer, fellow Toastmasters, Toastmasters of the day, and dear guests. My name is Nilesh, and today we'll talk about fake it till you make it. Okay, this particular concept which I have studied, I, I think I think since long time I'm working on this because I want to make sure that whatever whatever I'm doing in my life, I should use maximum concept which can be helpful to my personal as well as to my professional life. So, fake it till you make it is very important as far as our body language is concerned. Our body language is most important part of this particular concept. Now, you must have heard that whatever you think in your mind, you become, right? But what I have understood is opposite is also that much true. Whatever you do, the way you behave 
it impacts your mind and you think accordingly that as well so it's vice versa as well so as i was saying about uh, body language so uh, when we were in school let's go back to the school we were in school and at that time what happened teacher used to ask a question and students who were aware about the answer they were like this teacher teacher me 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 like this right and the student like me who were at the back bench we were like this you know she should not look at us she should not ask us so we were trying to string you know in toastmasters when 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 i started my toastmaster journey and when i came on stage first time i was nervous i was like this doing like this not confident at all when i was in online mode i used to switch off my camera because i was not confident to stand in front of all of you and speak and not only for humans for animals let's take an example of snake when he wants to bite someone it will be like this like this he will just open up his body right or wrong so body language is essential part of our life whether it is personal life or whether it is professional life so just to give an example i think i have talked about this before as well in one of the session wherein law works i think we call it as a law of vibration i think i have discussed about this particular in the another club wherein whatever you think it is true it happens true with your body language one example i would like to share with all of you uh, in my current organization where i am currently working i wanted to become part of one of the uh, one of the team which was growing and uh, somehow i was not able to get that i talked to my manager who went there who, who transferred to that particular department i talked to him and i uh, talked talk to her sorry and i told her that i would like to be a part of this particular team when she said that it is uh, it is not possible now uh, because uh, there is already a uh, problem with your current uh, team there should be a senior team member and you are the only one if you also leave at this particular team then there there will be no one i was like fine no problem but as i said that fake it till you make it what i started doing i started behaving like i'm already in that team uh, i was working as a team leader i was i was roaming on the floor like i'm a team leader of this particular team although i was not i was just faking it i was just faking it to my subconscious mind that i'm here i belong to be here and i was standing i was going in their team I, i was just roaming on the floor and i was doing all sort of stuff which team leader from that team will do basically i was just faking it but in next 6 months that manager came to me and she herself approached me that nilesh we have opening for this particular job role in, in our team would you like to join that team law work fake it till you make it and i made it over to you toast master the day thank you so much thank you so very much toast master nilesh for that wonderful speech and in fact being realistic is sometimes very good <laughs> in the practical life so i would leave a minute of silence for all of us to leave some valuable feedback to toastmaster nilesh and speaker and timer please do let me know when it's a minutes time timer are we done with the minutes time yes yes ma'am thank you so very much so uh, i would request the timer to let us know uh, the timings of all the three speakers Five minutes. 
55 seconds. The voice is very feeble. If you can just increase the volume a bit. Yeah, am I audible? Yes, you are audible now. Okay. So the speaker one took five minutes, 55 seconds. Mm -hmm. The speaker two took seven minutes, 20 seconds. And the speaker three took six minutes and nine seconds. So all are qualified. Thank you so very much. And kudos to all the speakers. All of them are qualified. So uh, I would just like to know if we can have the voting right now, or are we planning to have it at the end of the meeting? Uh, Swati, we are planning to have voting in the end. Great. Thank you so very much, Toastmaster Mayuresh. Now, as our magician is back, I know whom I... Uh, I hope everybody understands whom I'm referring to. Uh, that is Toastmaster Chandrasekhar, who is a bit quite uh, active in the social media. So I would like to know from him, like what uh, what is the advantage of social media according to him, or what is the disadvantage? Okay. What is the advantage and disadvantage of social media? For me, I just yeah. see advantages only because of the social okay. media. I became part of. Toastmaster Club of Pune North West. If it was not so, it was there no Facebook, no Instagram, I wouldn't have been part of it. But the disadvantage is that uh, it gives us so much pressure in our body. It is so much addictive if you are not having the control over it. So as long as you are having control over it, it is a good thing. But once it takes control over you, then it becomes something bad for you. And I personally believe I still have control over it, so I will be still using it. <laughs> and I think as we all know, so because I love social media, that's why I have taken the responsibility of a social media manager for the District 125. So yeah, that is it. Thank you so very much, Toastmaster Tindersekhar. That's very much true. Uh, today, the everything after the pandemic, everything has been on the social media. And until and unless few things are being posted in the social media, especially the good things, the people are not aware of it. Just like our Toastmasters, or whether it's even any good thing or any good information, people are not aware of it. So as we all know, our jobs are also right now over the online and everything is managed online. So people have to be pro of uh, social media. And I would like to say social media has even benefited the senior citizens in a lot, lot, lot way. I think you all can see uh, your mom and dad having a good time pass with the social media or with the WhatsApp, having connected to most of the friends. And they have certain time to come out of their loneliness or certain time to come out and they're having good time pass over there. And even the OTT movies, which give you a lot of pleasure, that is also part of the social media. And apart from this, as Toastmaster Chandrasekhar correctly said, we need to know like how to spend it and wisely to spend it. Even Facebook, Instagram and everything Try to manage and have a balance between your personal life as well as your social life and not to get indulged too much uh, into the Facebook or into the Insta, but give a certain time, have a limitation to yourself so that you don't get addicted. By saying this, can we go ahead for a break of uh, three minutes and then come back? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Thank you so very much. So we will uh, we will go ahead for a three minutes break. People can move offline or people can go ahead uh, have some uh, have some water and they can come back within three minutes. And timer, please do let us know once it's a three minutes time. Thank you so very much. Hello, Toastmaster Chandrasekhar. Uh, have you learned anything, you know, new tips or techniques uh, while working as a social media manager? What is the app's name? <laughs> I'll let you know the name, but yeah, that was a funny app. So <laughs> sure. You have to pay every time you want to use ex that extra time. <laughs> That's a good to know information. We will know about it. <laughs> uh, Toastmaster Swati? Yes. Yeah, the meeting is now uh, started again. Perfect. Thank you so very much. I welcome you all back to our meeting. And now, as I said, there is a surprise element and there is something wherein the guests can also participate. It is the table topics. Table topics is the fun, loving element of any Toastmasters meeting. 
wherein the speaker has to speak for a uh, for a minute to two minutes time, and he will get to speak on an impromptu topic. So give some work to your brain as well as to your thinking. And in order to organize the table topic session for the day, we have a specific table topics master who is an IT professional and who likes learning new things, meeting new people, as well as exploring new venues. So what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead with our table topics master. That is Toastmaster Prasenjit. Toastmaster Prasenjit, the stage is all yours. Go ahead. Thank you, TMOD Swati. Am I audible and visible? Not visible yet. Might be the spotlight has to come on you still. Oh, well, I am taking this from the online mode. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So am I visible now? Yes, you are visible and you are audible as well. Over okay. to you, Toastmaster Prasenjit. The stage is all yours. Give me a second. Let me share something as well. And then I'll just go through this. I think my screen is also visible, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, uh, it is visible. Good morning, all. Good morning, President Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Right. So, Table Topics Master is a very different session within the Toastmaster forum itself. And this is a special for the guests. I think you all have seen all the good speeches. Uh, you will see how the evaluation works. And you will see how people are coordinating with each other. But this session is where it gives chance to everyone come and talk on certain things which are probably not prepared by you beforehand. And that's the reason this is very interesting uh, session of the topic uh, for, for the forum itself. So uh, without wasting any further time, I'll start. But before I start, I'll just let you know how the time will work. So you will everyone will get one minute as a minimum time. 1.30 as a target time and two minutes as a maximum time. So anything above two minutes probably will disqualify, but let's try to stick to two minutes. So this is the first thing because today's topic is on social media. I think everyone will know about this icon. I'll What I'll do is that I'll pick uh, the guest and the team master from this forum, and then I'll ask them to talk about about this icon especially and i'll give also a hint that what needs to be talked about so let me start with let me just uh, see who is okay i'll start with guest kavita guest kavita you there guest kavita there No. Okay. Any, uh, I think there is a guest in the offline mode as well, right? Uh, yes, yeah. so Would she like to try? Not able to hear. Uh, I believe she's already on the stage. They are just adjusting the camera. Okay. So let me just go with the first uh, topic. And just bear with me. Right. So, is she able to see this? Uh, yes. Yes. Just a second. So I have maximum two minutes. Yes. You have to start. I have to speak. Okay. So this is the YouTube icon. Everyone might be knowing about this. Uh, this cannot be hidden nowadays. So. The topic for you is that if you are appointed the CEO of this social media app, what one thing you would change and why? You are appointed as the CEO of social media app. One thing that you would change and why? Yeah. Yes, your time starts uh, now. So if I was appointed the CEO of a social media app, the one thing that I would definitely, definitely change is the notifications that we get. And I'll tell you why. So there's a very interesting documentary on Netflix, which is called The Social Dilemma. In that documentary, they have explained how notifications that we get from social media apps like Instagram, 
LinkedIn, Facebook, and all these social media networks are actually distracting us from our work. I think that I might uh, take the business down to a loss, but that is one thing that really needs to change in today's world, and no one is really talking about it. This is what happens. We have our phone all the time that we have by our side. One notification pops up, it is either from Instagram and Facebook, and we quickly just decide that we check this one notification and we get back to our work. But that is not what happens. What happens is you take, you look at that one notification, another two notifications comes in, and when you open one of the notifications, you go to the app, maybe search for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and you won't even realize that you have wasted almost 30 minutes before you get back to your work. So if I was appointed as the CEO, I would first reduce the number of notifications and try to come up with a different alternative because I would want people to use the social media app more of a community rather than of that as a distraction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think uh, we are both thinking on the same lines because my thought was also on the same thing. Because every time I go on the YouTube, I see that the ad keeps popping up and that is very irritating. And then obviously you get a message also that if you want to go for the free trial, you have to click on this and then you have to subscribe for this, right? I, I, need, I didn't do it, but then yeah, it keeps irritating always. Thank you very much for the, for the change which you would like to bring if you are appointed as a CEO. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so as it is a social media day for us here in the Toastmaster Club, I'll all, my all, uh, topics are with respect to the social apps only. So this is probably another known app which you will know. And to actually talk about this, I'd like to call someone Toastmaster Shantanu. Would uh, you be able to go next? Yes, Prasenjit. <laughs> okay. So let me just see that what is the question for you. All right. So this is a topic. Has it become very outdated or still liking this? Well, th thank you for the nice topic. I would say yes and no. Uh, why it is outdated? Because we have been using it since long. They give the same kind of infinite scrolling feed, endless feed, and uh, the social media, it's a lot of your time. You are continuously scrolling through the feed and after one or two hours, you just realize that you have wasted a lot of time behind that. So definitely it's outdated and although i use it i still hate it because uh, I, I i end up spending a lot of time on this social media which i would have maybe learned something something new i would have learned some new guitar piece or, or I, I would have learned new song and i end up just scrolling through through the unnecessary things which somebody else pushes pushes to me somebody else uh, the sponsor us want me to watch those things uh, and, I, I, and I mean I just wanted to see one thing uh, and I just forget what, what I was doing and I keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. So it's really a bad thing. I think uh, for, for the future generation, we should really restrict uh, time people send, spend on this social media thing and if, if possible, try to stay a little bit away from it or get introduced at very later stage when, when they are sensible enough. Uh, that, that's it. I think I, I would, while concluding, I would just ask everyone what, what they feel about social media. They hate it or like it. I think very give, well said. Give uh, thumbs Shant up or thumbs down. I think very well said, uh, TM Shantanu. Uh, if you see Facebook, it has now become a birthday calendar. I go to Facebook just to understand that whether any of the guys whom I know celebrating their birthday today. Other than that, it has become a marketing app solely, right? Is it not? So yes, uh, this app is not very much different than the app which Google came up with long back. I think most of the guys would know about Orkut, right? It has flopped. It has gone now. Probably Facebook will also go in some years to come. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Shantanu, for your uh, comments on this. Right. Let me go to the next one. Before that, are you guys liking these topics? Yes, it's awesome. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is a very popular social media app, and it has changed the way we look into one of the things. 
So what I'll do is that uh, I'll just pick one name and then probably I'll uh, explore, uh, probably explore the question. So let me go to TM Snail. TM Snail, would you like to go next? Sorry, I'm not able to hear. It's Hello. Toshmaster Ashutosh. Yes. Okay. So fine. Uh, uh, Toshmaster Ashutosh, I'll come to you. Uh, let Let me go with uh, Toastmaster Snail, and then I'll come to you. Sure. Sure. Okay. So Toastmaster Snail, um, are you ready? Uh, yes. Okay. So yes. let me just uh, go with. The topic. Okay. So I believe it is visible. It's not visible to me because. <laughs> Okay, so let me just see. Okay, so this is a very popular app, right? And it has changed the way we look at our jobs and the way we search the jobs, right? Probably it was knockery long back. So what do you think? Is it good or is it bad or it's uh, very much uh, uh, everywhere and it taking our time? Uh, okay, first of all, Prasenjit, thank you for this topic. Um, so LinkedIn. Uh, in the early days of my college, I was not aware about this app. So later on, once I started my uh, corporate journey, then I come to know about this application. Uh, uh, so in this actually, uh, sometimes uh, means uh, the paid services also we get and the free services also we get in this. So <clears throat> uh, if we check for the free services, there are a few limitations in which we can uh, uh, we can contact the recruiter directly. And the main advantage of this is like, uh, if we get the messages from the recruiters or the HRs, uh, they are immediately get shared and whosoever are uh, searching for those uh, jobs will get uh, the notifications or uh, maybe their friends can share the uh, uh, those job, uh, job uh, notifications to their friends. So that is, according to me, it's very helpful. Whosoever is uh, searching for the jobs and their paid services are also helpful in which we can uh, directly contact to the recruiters wherein <clears throat> they can check our profiles in which we can upload our resumes and whatever the certifications in case we have got, those also can be uploaded there and directly they can check our profiles, which are recently updated. And if they are interested, we can directly schedule the interview for that. So according to me, that is a very helpful app. What you uh, present you. Thank, Thank you, Toshmaster Snell. Uh, very well said. I think I'll go back to what Ashutosh, sorry, Nilesh has said before. Fake it till you make it. So LinkedIn is all about fake it till you make it. So if you see nowadays everywhere, people are actually uploading their certification and all those things. And it's a good tool. And it very much resembles the point which Nilesh has said that, okay, you just keep on trying to fake it till you make it. And this is very much blessing in disguise. No, no one knows that whether tomorrow you will land up with a very lucrative job using this application. Thank you. So let me go to the next one. PM Ashutosh, you there? Yes, I'm here. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So let me just go to the next one. Right. I think. Okay. So your topic is, can we live without social media apps in this age of technology? Okay. So my answer, am I audible to, uh, and yes. visible to you? Yes. Yes. Okay. So my answer is yes and no both because I always feel that technology is good to have, but is overrated over the period of time. We are so much dependent on technology and to take a step ahead on these social media apps that we feel that we cannot move ahead without these, without these apps. But is it really true how much value these apps are going to add in our life? If we are going so meticulous in trying to understand whether these apps has helped us or not. So there will be a mixed response. Yes, sometimes to bring awareness, to make people come more closer, these apps has helped us a lot in many ways. If we wanted to communicate our message to somebody, if we are going to recall our previous days, it was not possible. We, our reach was not that 
great whereas now if we take the example of twitter instagram linkedin these apps has given us that power using what we can access to those whom we were not able to in earlier days but at the same time these apps has distracted us a lot distraction it means take example of tiktok or instagram for some instance rather than making a good use of these apps we have also taken the bad part of these also our total screen time if you are going to look into that it has increased a lot rather than making a personal connective we are losing our, our time on the social media apps so it is a great question that are we able to live without these apps or not the answer is yes definitely we can live it but we cannot completely avoid these apps we have to make a perfect balance in our life wherein we are using it in a very selective way so that we are putting it in a good use of our communication of reaching to the people reaching to the masses be it branding or communication but to a certain extent so that we are not harming the overall harmony in our daily life thank you and back to you thank you toshmash ashutok very well said that we need to use the social media apps to our advantage not to our disadvantage and i think it has mix of both nowadays so we can live with this but probably we need to uh, see that whether we can avoid this as well thank you very much i'll go to the next one and let me see whom i can call so toshmash tulshi would you like to go for this Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, so your topic is how will you market a product on such apps? And if you have to select one app for marketing, which one would you prefer and why? Should I repeat the topic? No, no. Yeah, it is. I I can see it. Okay. so nowadays if you see the uh, all mostly most of the social media apps are used for marketing so whether it's a facebook whether it's um, yahoo whether it's um, any other app right they are being used for marketing without marketing these apps cannot survive on their own so if you have to do that what you will do uh, and which app you will prefer out of the apps which we have in the market today yes yes i would prefer instagram as uh, as we are also having one page named madhubani motives so i can share a little story about that we are running a page madhubani motives over instagram which is a traditional uh, page of a particular area of bihar of madhubani paintings and there we are also providing products like uh, uh, like daily uses uh, scarf or dupatta or suit uh, the general user uh, things we are selling there so yes i i feel that uh, instagram has given us lots of opportunity to show show the talent we are having or the uh, 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 make our products available to the person who wants to get it like uh, like someone is interested and someone are searching the uh, folk art things like uh, some painting based uh, things and this is this is the uh, this painting is based in uh, madhubani which is from bihar so yes we are selling there we are selling there many products like a uh, uh, comb we are having for uh, uh, main uh, male and female we are having selling there so yes i found instagram very helpful to market our products thank you thank you toshmash sir tulsi you have all we are already into the marketing um... business using the app which is very good i think uh, it has actually made life easy for all the shopkeepers to actually market their product without any issues so let let me go to the next one and for that i'll call mayuresh mayuresh first master mayuresh you there yes pros master prasenjit but we also okay. have pros master saurav to speak for our table topics uh, so i would like to give this spot to him okay so let me go to the next one i think it I will be can go next after this okay so tosh master saurav right yes okay the topic for you is what is required to save our younger generation from this apps if you see nowadays the exploitation is very high and as a um, as as a senior people or as a 
transparent, we can't have a control of uh, this always, right? So, and probably it is causing a lot of harm instead of uh, actually doing good. So what is required to save our younger generation from this apps and what is your view on this? Okay, thank you for this opportunity to present you. So, what is the point to say about younger generation from these apps? As we all know, technology is a good uh, servant but a bad master. So, it's all in our hands how we shape it, how we use it, and how we can uh, guide our younger generation to better utilize in their benefits. As uh, this apps, we can say it is uh, amalgam of uh, marketing, socializing, connecting and branding. So we have to somehow filter out for our younger generations. Our younger generations are based on different, uh, uh, like they are, they are different audiences. We can categorize them. If, if a generation, if uh, youngers are in, uh, like they are scholars. So we can categorize the apps like LinkedIn, and uh, there are other learning platforms. We can only provide the access to these guys and we can uh, motivate them to hone their skills, get certified and do well. If they are from uh, branding or marketing or social media uh, brand and also, we can have other platforms like Instagram where they can uh, endorse their brands, where they can uh, endorse their products as well. So we have to sort out how we are trying to shape our younger generations, what kind of uh, apps they can uh, they can take on to reach a global audience. Thank you. Thank you, Tosh Marshall Saurabh. Uh, well said. Yes, I, I, I feel the same thing. My daughter is eight years old and I the moment I move outside of the vision from her place, the, the the same moment she starts the video and start looking into uh, some of the cartoon networks or topics right so it's very prudent that we need to start saving our younger generation from this otherwise i think by the time they will reach to our age they will be completely overloaded with all the gadgets right they will not be able to come out of those gadgets so that's what so let me go to the next one let me see that who will go next Toshmaster would you like to go next or Anyone else from the offline mode? Okay, so I think, right, this is a very interesting one. I think uh, probably more or less everyone might have done this. I have done this long back. Okay, so how to propose your crush on social media? This is really interesting topic. So thanks for that, Postmaster Pasinji. To propose your crush on social media, how are you going to do that? Simple, you don't. You know, in social media, there, if you approach your crush and uh, propose her, her, in case of, in case of, in case of definitely her, so if you propose her and she's not into you, you will, you will approach, you will come, come up as pretty. And that can, instead of uh, getting to, uh, to her, it can also deteriorate your relationship and uh, affect your relationship adversely. The better approach would be just go directly to her and say whatever you want. But just do it earlier. Or if you still want to go with social media, there is a, a very cliche question right now which you can uh, ask on WhatsApp if you remember that. The question is Jevliska. That in Marathi that means have you had your lunch or dinner? So this question is cliche because many times people start with uh, this question. Jevliska, Jevliska, Jevliska. So, have you had your lunch or dinner? And then they start to take the discussion further and go ahead. Yeah, that's it. That's my view. Over to <laughs> Thank you very much, Postmaster Mehrish. Yes, that's a very point, Jabliska. <laughs> Right, I think I have another one. Uh, so let me just see whom I will call on the stage. Any uh, any other guest? I think um, we missed Kavita, right? Uh, Kavita, you are you there? No. Are you on mute, Kavita? <laughs> Okay, so then let me go to Postmaster Nilesh then in that case, uh, let me see what is there. 
Okay, pros and cons of the social media. Just to conclude the social media table topics uh, session. Toastmaster Nilesh, would you be able to go for this? Yes, Toastmaster Prasanth. Okay, so pros and cons of social media. Um, I think definitely there are a lot of benefits of social media as well as disadvantages. If I uh, if I start with the benefits first, uh, then uh, if you all know that few. Uh, weeks back, I gave a speech uh, wherein I have, how I approached uh, through, to the current organization a recruiter uh, through Nokri.com. Uh, it was one of the app which helped me to get the job. Uh, that's how I got my bread and butter. Uh, that is one of the benefit I would say because otherwise it would have been difficult for me to you know reach out to the go to them personally. Maybe they would have not allowed me to enter into the company gate as well. So social media definitely helpful in in many ways. Uh, like my wife uses it, uh, uses it every day just to see new recipes uh, <laughs> through Instagram or through YouTube as well. So that gives me good dishes, especially on Sunday. Um, best uh, utilization for my son because um, if, even if we are working, we both are working. He is on the YouTube watching the YouTube car cartoons and everything. So it is savior for us. Otherwise, it, it would have been difficult for for uh, for uh, both of us. Uh, but yes, I think someone has already discussed about the uh, disadvantages, like most of us uh, don't even realize that how much time they are spending on the sports, uh, social media, uh, on Reels, on Instagram, and you know, uh, WhatsApp, we don't realize that. Um, but yes, uh, as I think someone also said that we can restrict to the timing and we can add, add some feature in the apps. So that would have, that would be great. But overall, if I look at uh, Whatever we are doing since uh, Poon Sage, I would say uh, there is for everything there is a pros and cons. It doesn't matter whether it is social media or what. For everything there is a pros and cons. It's up to us how we are gonna utilize it, how carefully you are you are utilizing it. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Nilesh. I think uh, you have summarized it well. I say to uh, imitate disadvantage advantages. One is lack of time for your family because most of the time we are on social media apps. And another thing is distracted mind. I see the younger generation are more into these apps and probably they are not focusing on the right things. But nevertheless, it has it, it has its advantage as well. And as we rightly said that this has a blessing in disguise and we can't quantify the advantage. So probably in years to come, probably we'll know that how, how it is shaping up further. So with that note, I'd like to pass on this to TMOD, uh, TM Shweta. Swati, sorry, and uh, that's for me today. Thank you so very much, Toastmaster Prasenji. Now, can we know from the timer, like what are the timing limits of all the speakers and if all the table topic speakers are qualified? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so I think all the speakers are qualified. All of them have spoken over one minute and less than two minutes, 30 seconds. So they all are qualified. Perfect. Thank you so very much. And as promised, I hope everyone of you have enjoyed the table topic session. Now we will move on to a very interesting session. That is the evaluation session. And this will be taken care by our general evaluator, Toastmaster Abhishek, as already introduced him. So over to you, Toastmaster Abhishek. Uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster Swati, for introducing me. Uh, okay, let us start with our evaluation session. First of all, our first evaluator is a software engineer. Uh, her hobbies are reading, painting, singing, and playing badminton. So let us welcome Toastmaster Snehal. Hi, uh, everyone. Am I vid uh, audible and vi uh, visible to all? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. One second. Uh, one second. Yeah, so um, 
Ashutosh, uh, your objective was very clear to the audience. So kudos to that. Uh, you're able to engage audience in your speech by asking questions. So I found it, uh, it as very interactive. Uh, so uh, let's have a big round of a clap for Ashutosh. For his wonderful speech. So coming towards your improvement areas, I found that uh, there was a bit missing of the uh, vocal variation, uh, the sound modulation, I would say. Uh, it was a bit monotonous, I would say. And uh, apart from that, I think uh, you should have utilized the stage more, uh, the hand gestures more. So uh, those two things I would suggest you. Um, apart from that, it was a wonderful speech, Ashutosh. So that is from my end. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Snehal. Our next evaluator uh, is all we know. So he, is a, he is our VP education for two, our meeting. And at the same time, he is going to evaluate Toastmaster Mahivre's speech for today's meeting. So Toastmaster Santan, over to you. Thank you. OK. Uh, so uh, yeah, are we going to pin uh, Toastmaster Mahivre? Yeah, he'll be okay. coming on the stage. So let us wait. Okay. okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, congratulations, Toastmaster Mayuresh, for the great speech. Uh, so the purpose of the speech, uh, as I explained, was uh, for you to learn, uh, review basic research methods, and uh, present a well-organized research speech, speech on any topic. So I think. Uh, the speech reflects that you have done research about the software engineering and uh, overall testing and automation. So it was uh, well-formed content. Uh, I think your vocal clarity was very good. Uh, I could, uh, although you were at an offline location, the audio was a bit low, but I could still uh, clearly understand all, all the uh, words you were speaking, all the, your spoken language was very clear and it was easily understood. Uh, you were using the lot of vocal variety. So uh, you were using the stage in a good way. You were changing position here and there, uh, and you were changing the tone uh, while, while explaining about the conversation you had with your boss. Uh, so one thing that uh, you could have done better was, uh, so the terms you used in your speech uh, were some terms were very specific to the uh, software or the IT field. And I think any any person who is not from IT field, they might not correlate with that content. Uh, you, then second point is you could have uh, asked for call for action uh, at the end uh, to connect more with audience. And you could have used gestures uh, in, in your speech uh, or uh, say pauses. Uh, so for example, uh, your, uh, so the person you were talking with, uh, he, he reacted with something. So you could have used pause there uh, so that uh, audience would have easily able to digest uh, what, what, what happened till now. And uh, I mean, basically bet better connect with the situation. Uh, so overall, it was very nice speech. I think to challenge yourself, uh, you can, uh, also, you could have also presented uh, some more facts about the research. Uh, I, I would have loved to see some facts. And uh, yeah, I think you, you can try to act uh, upon uh, the pauses and the call for action, etc. But overall, it was very nice speech. And uh, I'm sure everyone enjoyed your speech. So thank, thanks a lot. Yes, thank you, thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator, Abhishek. Uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster Santanu. Our next speaker, Toastmaster Nile's speech, will be evaluated by, uh, as you all know, he is a mentor for HTSI clubs and social media manager at District 125. You might have already seen in the group. He is also a magician, a teacher, and so many things. 
So let us welcome Toastmaster Chandrasekhar to evaluate Toastmaster Nilay's speech. Yeah, sorry, babe, I can't come on date with you. I'm having the interview with Sachi Tharoor. What do you mean? You don't trust me? Just go check my LinkedIn. Just kidding. Fake it until you make it. But I have actually faked it, so you can go on social media, you can check on LinkedIn. There is a poster where I am talking with Shashi Tharoor. I am taking a small interview question. What an interesting story that uh, Toastmaster Nilesh presented today. Fake it until you make it. And this is something I personally really love. Because when we fake something, what we are trying to achieve is that we are trying to become a better version in our life. So let me directly move on to the speech. What were the good things about the speech that I really like it? The first thing that I really liked about your speech was the audience engagement throughout the speech. In the starting, you ask the question to the audience and just not ask the question. You also taking the responses from the audience, their behavior, what were their response. Apart from that, you conducted a small experiment where you asked each and everyone just to smile at random. And as we all know, we were just smiling. And even though that was a fake smile, but we were still ha feeling happy about it as Toastmaster Swati responded and I responded. So it was a really great call. Second thing that I really liked about your speech was your body language. Your standing posture was really good. You were confident, energetic, and the hand gesture that you were uh, say, using in the speech, those were related to the things that you were saying. So kudos to you on that part. And the third thing that I really liked about your speech was the beautiful usage of English language, or we can say the language. There were some good quotes like, you become what you do. And again, wise words also that you explained in the speech. Second was the figure of speech that I found was the personification where you told about the story of the snake when he's in the mode where he wants to attack someone or he is like defending him that. Same goes to the person. So the figure of speech was the personification. These were really good things about it. Now coming to the feedback or the things that you can improve and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. The first thing that you could have done better was pre-opening. Now what do you mean by pre-opening? In the opening act, you asked everyone to turn on their video and you gave some examples or um, instruction to them. What you could have done better was you could have informed PMOD to ask everyone to keep their video on throughout your speech. That would have saved your 10 seconds. And timing is a really, really important part of the uh, audience management in Toastmaster also. So you could have asked or you could have told the evaluator or the Toastmaster of the day for a pre-opening act where you ask everyone to turn on their video. Second thing, there were two stories. There were two great stories. One of you becoming the uh, team leader in the, your organization and one story of your school life. But somehow I didn't find them interconnected with the theme that you were presenting. The one where you asked everyone, like, imagine your school days where the bright student were raising hand, you were holding your eyes in shadowing. Those were really great stories, but I couldn't find them interconnected with your overall theme. So maybe you could have connected them in a very well way that you faked something in your childhood and then you faked something over here. And actually by faking them, you became a better person because when you talked about you becoming a Toastmaster, you were initially shy, but then later you became really confident with it. The third thing that I found out was the conclusion. So conclusion was like, at the end, you just said, fake it until you make it. But you could have summarized it in a very better way. You could have said that like, what is your most important goal? Be a Toastmaster, be a wonderful speaker, start faking it until you become that person. What is your goal? You want to become an actor? Start faking the actor in yourself and then become it. So a strong concluding remark should have been given. And one thing that I want you to challenge is that now you were giving a speech where you were faking something. So I was expecting that you will be wearing some kind of professional suit and everything and then, then you will be de delivering that speech. So that was my expectation is I already see the red card, but uh, let me conclude the overall speech. So the speech was really good. You were really good with the opening act. The body language was really good. And the body uh, so the use of English language was really good. That will be again conducted by the grammarian. Things that you could have worked on was the pre-opening act and then connecting your stories and the strong conclusion because what we all need is a concluding remark. And have a professional attire if you are delivering this kind of speech. So that's it from my side and back to the general evaluator. Uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster Chandrasekhar, for the evaluation, and it, I think it will help for everyone. Uh, timer, can you have the timer report for all evaluators and tellers who are qualified for the voting? Yeah, so, uh, Amishik, the evaluator one is there, it took one minute exactly. So, kudos to her. 
evaluator 2 shantanu took 2 minutes and 35 seconds and uh, evaluator 3 chandrashekhar took 4 minutes and 15 seconds so there could be some uh, time management on chandrashekhar side that's not all is under uh, sorry uh, who are qualified uh, chandrashekhar took 4 minutes and 15 seconds so it's not qualified <laughs> This is Nikhil Chandra's qualified. Uh, am I audible, Abhishek? Uh, no, the voice is a bit less, so I couldn't uh, get you. Am I audible now, Abhishek? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so evaluator one is Nehal took one minute, so she is qualified. Evaluator two, Shantanu took two minutes, 35 seconds. So he's also qualified. And evaluator three, Chandrasekhar took four minutes and 15 seconds. So he's not qualified. Okay. Okay, uh, so, uh, so let us move ahead uh, with our next, um, that is the R counter report and Dameron report. Uh, for the Dameron report, I would like to request Osmaster Kutsi to come on the stage and uh, tell us how we have done in this meeting and how we can improve. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Gen General Evaluator. My report is the word of the day and phrase of the day used by TM Prasenjit, TM Mayuresh. The word of the day was used by TM Abhishek and TM Swati. I appreciate them, all of them, for their effort to use the, the word in their meeting, in their speech. And I found in this meeting a word augment, which means to increase the amount or the size of something. We can use the, uh, this word in example. He would have to find work to augment his income. Another word I found interesting was feeble. It means weak or with no energy or power. The word was used, the voice was very feeble. So I have noted it from there. And uh, an, another word was used by uh, TM Nilesh was Kuhn says, which, which was uh, discussed in earlier uh, previous meeting. And its meaning is in a very long time. We have not seen them in a Kuhn says. So this is the end of the report. Thank you. Back to you, General Evaluator. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Toastmaster Tulsi. So next report is Toastmaster Cities. Uh, Toastmaster, I would request Toastmaster Cities to present the R counter report. Thank you, General Evaluator Abhishek. Uh, hope my voice is audible to you. Uh, yes, okay. audible. Okay, uh, so before starting with the report, I want to like to um, mention a few names who were flawless during the session. So. Here it goes, just let me share the screen. Okay, please confirm once you can see the screen. Yes, it is, we can see. Okay, okay. Uh, in the speeches, Nilesh was flawless and I couldn't find any filler words in his speech. And later in the table topics, uh, guest Minel was flawless. Uh, then Ashutosh, uh, TM Ashutosh, TM Mayuresh, Mayuresh uh, were flawless. So these were the few mentions that I wanted to name. And uh, now coming to the report in the speeches, uh, TM Ashutosh uh, took two hour sound and Mayuresh and one unnecessary pause. And Mayuresh uh, said two times so and took one unnecessary pause. Then coming to evaluators, uh, Chandrasekhar used the in the end. I think that could be avoid, avoided. And then Shantanu used three R sound, Snehal four R sound. And in, in table topics, Mr. Shan TM Shantanu said three times a uh, Snehal around five and more. And similarly, Saurabh four, Nilesh four times and Tulsi, TM Tulsi three times. So this is my report. 
Uh, so to, uh, this failure sound we use generally when we are not prepared and we are thinking something in our mind. So if you want to be fluent in the language, even I use filler sound, one can avoid it by preparing it or either being aware of it when we are using. So by when we are talking or we are want to communicate something, just aware, um, be aware that we are using this word, filler words and, and avoid, try to avoid it. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator Abhishek. Uh, okay, thank you so much uh, for the report of the R counter and we'll definitely try our best to improve all of us in the next meeting. So let us continue with the general evaluator report and see how well we have done uh, in today's meeting. Uh, let us start with our first tool player, Toastmaster Saurabh. Uh, Toastmaster Saurabh, the timing card was good and you were showing in the uh, stage in, in the uh, physical meeting as well. Uh, also, there were you were a bit late for today's meeting, but although it, that was managed, uh, so again, well done from your side uh, for, for showing the timer card. Although you could have uh, kept the timer card a bit more time so that the um, role players can could have uh, gotten more gist of it. But other than that, the timing card was good. Coming to the next role player, Toastmaster Tulsi, uh, the word of the day and phase of the day was very simple and it's easy to use for today's meeting. I think we can continue using it in future as well. So well done. And also you have suggest asked uh, members to use in today's meeting. You have shown the word of the day and phase of the, the chart window. And also you have presented what is the good use and what is not so good use. A few recommendations from my side would be to, uh, first of all, if you want to use people a lot of it, then you can set it as a background as well. What happened is uh, you have people your video on. So whenever they see you, they will also see the word of the day and phase of the day, and it will uh, make them use the is uh, a bit more. And also you can upload if they have, uh, you know, during the report, you can ask people to upload for them if they have used the word of the day and phase of the day. But otherwise, uh, it was really nice. And definitely we are going to use it in future speech, uh, future meetings. Thank you so much. Uh, coming to the next role player, Toastmaster Sritesh, who is the first time role player for today's meeting and he is a new member. So again, congratulations for playing the role of the R counter in today's meeting. Thank you, Vishik. And the report was uh, really good for fabulous. Uh, you have mentioned all the role player name, uh, uh, how many hours and whom they have used, the filler sound and filler words. You have set five plus if they have using uh, more than that, that is also recommended. So well done, done. And that. I really loved about this part that uh, you have suggested how we can improve our next, uh, I mean, how we can practice and uh, see the score going down in the AHA counter report. So that is also a commendable job from you. Uh, also, I think one thing you could have added is, again, applaud for the uh, flawless speaker for today's meeting that will encourage the speakers and others as well to uh, reduce the uh, score of the AHA counters and reduce the filler awards. But other than that, Tremendous job. Well done from your side, Toastmaster Sutis. Our next role player is Table Topic Master, Toastmaster Prasenjit. Uh, I think that, uh, again, the topic was related to him that is commendable at the same time. The topics were really interesting and uh, it, it's like people had to think about how they are going to speak. Uh, they have to present their own opinion on certain topic. Also, this is social media, so everything was relatable to everyone. So it was really interesting to uh, listen to other people's speeches as well, table topic speeches as well. So really done a great, uh, great job in table topic session. Uh, also, uh, you are um, after the table topic speeches, you are speaking something about their speeches as well, which is commendable, and you are encouraging them. Uh, I would like to give one suggestion is to reduce it a bit so that uh, we can have uh, time for the session and meeting won't go a bit lengthy. But other than that, uh, the conduct of the session was amazing. Congratulations Toastmaster Prasenjit for this. And again, coming to the same topic, uh, Toastmaster Prasenjit is also the savior for today's meeting who took Sajad at arm role at the last moment. Just when the meeting is going to start, he took the Sajad at arm role which is really commendable. And you have uh, spoke about the rules for today's meeting and you have started the meeting. So great job done on part, Toastmaster Prasenjit. Okay, uh, so next coming to our evaluator. So today we have three evaluators for today's meeting and uh, also the evaluators have done uh, commendable job. Uh, there was some hiccup for today's meeting. 
some uh, confusion was there, but you still could manage it very well. Uh, especially Toastmaster Snehal, when uh, the speeches was speaker was changed, she could quickly manage it and she uh, give the suggestion as well. Great job done on that part. Toastmaster Santanu, you are managing the Sajar, the DPA education role at the same time you are evaluating. So great job done on that part. And also Toastmaster Chandrasekhar, who is our savior for today's meeting, another savior for today's meeting, uh, who took the evaluation role for Toastmaster Nilesh. So congratulations for this. Uh, Great job done your part. Uh, I think timing could have been managed a bit more for this uh, so that it will not go out of it. Um, also, Toastmaster Sinhal, you could have added some more commendations so that uh, the timing could have been increased. But other than that, as you manage it uh, in a short time, great job done from your side. Okay, so as the speakers has already been evaluated, uh, I'm not going to evaluate them. As a president, I think uh, uh, I could have spoken because there was some confusion. The, the presiding officer was not completely done. So I could have spoken about that. Especially, I would like to uh, congratulate our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Swati, who managed it really well. There were, uh, because of certain situation, honorable situation, there were some uh, role players who were not there. and lot of changes happening during the meeting. So I think Toastmaster Swati and uh, Toastmaster Santanu, they have managed it really well in today's meeting. Uh, and I think in the Toastmaster, we say that we get practical experience. And, uh, and in our real life, we always face uh, some situation which is not avoidable and we have to manage multiple things. And you have done in today's meeting. That is really commendable. I would request everyone to give a big round of applause for all of them. Okay, so this is all from the general evaluator report for today's meeting. Okay, let us continue with the closer and moments of glory as well in the same format. So uh, do we have any guest? Uh, can you uh, tell how you like the meeting and uh, what is your opinion on it? I believe we have guest Minal. Yes. Uh, we can't hear you clearly. Toastmaster Mayurish, can you adjust the camera and voice over there in the stage? Oh. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes. Uh, if I just have to explain it in one word, then I would say that it was amazing and I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I really uh, like to share my ideas. I like to speak in front of an audience that has always been what I enjoy doing since my school days also. So yes, uh, uh, in the beginning, I was really scared to come up here because it's a new audience. So I'm a little camera conscious because I have to speak in both offline and online mode as well. But uh, yes, uh, I think I just needed a little push to come up here and say so thank you all those who are sitting here in the offline world that actually uh, pushed me to like, They encouraged me, I would say, to come up here and speak. Uh, the topics were amazing. I really enjoyed uh, all of the speeches that I heard today and the table topics that, that, that were there. Uh, it kind of like, they were really insightful because it really made us to think. So yes, I enjoyed the topics as well. Uh, all the speakers were amazing and thank you so much. I really enjoyed my time. Thank you so much and we love to have you here and also we loved about your uh, speeches in table topic session. We will definitely see you in future in our meeting as well. Thank you so much. Uh, so let us continue with the voting for today's meeting. Uh, Toastmaster Mavris. Sorry. Yes. Yes, I will be launching the poll now. And yeah. while the online poll is coming, we will just uh, get to the offline as well. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I am launching the poll now. Uh, please, everyone, please vote. Okay, so we can only pause it. Okay, so where is the possibility of the poll? Here. That's the possibility of the poll. 
Guys, please go. Are you able to see the code? Okay. Yes. Yes, my Yes. Um, uh, President Abhishek, we have all the voting uh, online as well as offline. I am closing the poll now and uh, uh, launching the results in the just a few minutes. Okay, sure. Okay, uh, so by then the results are being published. There is an announcement for today's meeting. Okay. So every month we have our Toastmaster of the month presented to every one of us. Now we don't know how that is being calculated. So we have decided to streamline it so that you will know what are the criteria and every month the Toastmaster of the month will be published in our main group along with it. What is your score for that month? Now how the score will be calculated? Let me show you. Okay. Uh, uh, I hope everyone can see my screen. Can see my screen? Yeah, it's loading. Yeah, now it's loading. Okay. So, uh, this is the sheet that we have created and uh, it will be shared in our main group as well so that you can refer. Every month, the score will be calculated based on the role that you have taken. Now, this is not based on how much experience you have in Toastmasters. The person who has been working in Toastmaster for 10 years or even for two days, everyone is eligible for this award. It is based on how much effort you are putting in uh, in the meeting. Now, if you are taking Toastmaster of the day and general evaluator role, you will be getting seven points. If you are taking speaker and table topic master role, you will get six points. If you are taking speech evaluator and language evaluator role, you will get five points. For R counter, uh, timer and Sajara term, you will get four points. And if you're just setting the meeting, then you will get two points. The, for the winner selection for the entire month, uh, it will be checked how much role you have taken. And for this, what is the score? And based on the total, our report will be published in our main group. And the person who will get highest score will be awarded the Toastmaster of the month for that month. As, along with that, the person will get also the MSN voucher for it. Now, if uh, for the entire score, it will, it will be stored for all the months. And at the month of December, we will calculate how much score you have for the entire term. And based on the score, 
the toast mass of the term will be calculated. So it will be more role you take, more challenging role you take, the more score you will get. And based on that, the award will be yours. We'll be published this report, uh, the sheet in our main group so that you can again refer it and understand how the things are working. If you have any question, then you can definitely contact us. Uh, if you want to understand more about the role, definitely you can contact the role player mentor and your mentor as well. At the same time, you can talk to any of the XCOM member if you want to understand how the rules and uh, the system is working. So this is all about the scoreboard. Uh, do we have the result prepared? Yes, I'm just typing that. Uh, yes, yes, Abhishek, I, I'll, I'll share the certificates with you. Okay, sure. In the meanwhile, can we have a group photograph? I have shared the Okay, uh, before publishing, let us have a group photograph for all of us. Yeah, of course. Yes. Okay. I have taken the photo, Vishik. Okay. Thank you so much, Toastmaster John Sikar. Uh, okay, before moment of glory, I think our VP Education Toastmaster Santanu has uh, something to say. Uh, Toastmaster Santanu, the stage is yours. Yes, I just wanted to thank uh, Toastmaster Abhishek and Toastmaster Swati for calmly handling the situation. Uh, although he mentioned my name, but uh, I was not available from 10 to 11. Uh, I had to take one interview for my uh, for one of the recruitment drive in my company. So. Th thank you and kudos to Toastmaster Abhishek and Swati for handling everything very smoothly. So we had uh, three changes today, the last movement changes uh, due to some family emergencies. Uh, three people had to back out and uh, everything had to be managed in the last moment. So it, it was definitely a great learning for me as a VP education because although we plan everything uh, Agenda is ready by Friday evening and Saturday evening, but there could be last moment changes. So there was a lot of learning and same could happen with, uh, with you when you are working in your respective jobs and there could be last moment changes in, in your personal life. Also, you should not assume that everything goes as planned. So that's, that's a very good learning and thanks. Those must have Swati. Thank you so much to Mr. Shantanu and uh, this is actually a learning for all of us and this is actually happened in real life and uh, also when you joined the meeting you have managed it really well as well. So uh, thank you everyone for uh, supporting for today's meeting. Now let us go with, uh, uh, with the moment of glory. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay, uh, I hope you can see my screen. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, great. So the best auxiliary role player for today's meeting is Toastmaster Sritesh. Our first time role player is our best auxiliary role player as well. Congratulations, Toastmaster Sritesh. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, G. Abhishek. Our best role player is Toastmaster Prasanjit for his amazing job as table topic session and 
every one of us really enjoyed congratulations close master for sanjit thank you next our best evaluator is toastmaster santanu for his amazing job toastmaster santanu congratulations for the best evaluator award our best table topic speaker is toastmaster nimisha uh, congratulations to congratulations nimisha our best speaker is toastmaster nilesh it was really entertaining speech congratulations toastmaster nilesh thank you and finally we have the savior award to toastmaster prasanjit for his sajadat arm rules uh, for today's meeting thank you so much toastmaster prasanjit and congratulations for the savior award again our next savior is toastmaster chandrasekhar who took the the evaluator role at the last moment just before the speech so thank you so much to us master chandrasekhar and again to us master snehal there was some changes during the meeting uh, in fact at the last moment before the speech he had to change the speaker but still she could manage and she could give evaluation so again thank you so much for being the savior and well done for today's meeting congratulations to us master snehal with that uh, we end the moments of glory for today's meeting and thank you so much everyone for joining us and we will definitely meet in the next meeting and have another exciting session thank you so much uh, and now officially adjourn the meeting thank you so thank you thank you everyone